My little boy watches uh, the Football Academy. You are inspiring those younger kids to start their journey now. Keep up what you're doing. Hi James, thanks for no talking to me today. Yeah. No worries. So I've got a few questions about being in the academy, as yep. you've been in the same position as me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What's the biggest attribute that got you through the academy and first team football? There's a lot of attributes you need, obviously you need to be a good player, but I think the main thing was your, your attitude and your hard work, that for me was the biggest thing that maybe set me out from, from the other players. There were a lot of talented players in the group, but um, I think my attitude and dedication was, was always spot on. Yeah. Did you have to deal with any disappointment in your career? or? more recently and how did you deal with that? Yeah, I think football is a game of opinion. Some managers and, and coaches will like you, some will, will, will not think you're as good as maybe what you think you are. So um, if you're not in the team and stuff, I remember when Ralph Hasenhutl came to the club, I had to try and prove to him that I was ready to play in his team. And um, that was down to, again, hard work and, and dedication on the pitch to, to show him that I was good enough. Which players you aspire to be like when you were growing up? I think the obvious ones were, you know, Steven Gerrard and um, you know David Beckham, people like that. But I think more when I was in the in the first team was um, Steven Davis, who who was um, captain at the time and coming through. He was a terrific player for me to learn off every day in training, and he showed me what it was like to be a, a, a true professional day in day out. Yeah. So after like your sessions in the first team, do you stay behind and work mm. on things that you feel you could do better? Yeah, I do. I try and make sure that I do it in the right way because physically our training and the games are quite hard. So sometimes the period where you're able to train is, is, is not there. But um, yeah, there's certain aspects of my game. Obviously, particularly free kicks is something that I try and practice um, at least once a week to make sure that I can give myself that confidence and belief when I'm in a game. Were well, you always the best player at your school? Um, yeah, I think I was, um, but I never thought of it in that kind of way. Um, you know, I knew obviously that I was in the academy and I had a talent, but I never took that for granted and I wanted to, to make sure that I could, I could prove myself at the right level. And uh, do you think you're the best player at your school? I would say so, yeah. yeah. Um, I'd back myself to be in that position, yeah. Yeah, nice, nice. Good to have that confidence, anyway. Yeah. yeah. That's good. And were you the best player at the academy? I think at different stages there were some players that developed quicker than others, so um, I was kind of always in the middle. There are a few players that were ahead of me and some that were, that, that were below, but like I said in the first question, my attitude I think was the one that kind of stood me apart from them, that I was 100% committed every time and, and, and maybe they weren't. Yeah, so my, my little boy watches uh, the Football Academy and he knows all the players and the age groups and the teams you'll play for. So yeah, he's a big fan of yours. And um, yeah, you are inspiring those younger kids to start their journey now. Yeah, so cool. where, where I am now inspiring you boys, you're now inspiring the, the even younger boys to, to start their journey in the academy. So um, yeah, keep up what you're doing. Thank you. Yeah. All right. All right. Thank you for your time today, no James. No worries. Anytime, mate. Good to see yeah. you. See yeah. you later. Take care. See you in a bit.